my name is Helen. I teach at Cornwall Hill College. I teach mathematics to high schoolers. It's not their favorite subject, but we do try to make it interesting. I'm not quite, I'm not really wanting to talk about mathematics so much, but what I see as possible advancements in technology, I find that I found this tool that I really, really like. They call themselves an e-writer. These are a few of my favorite things. I go by Helen the Great to most. <laughs> now, the problems with ICT integration at the moment is that most of us want the three-click solution. If it doesn't work in three clicks, we don't like it. Also, most of us are scared, myself included, of what the children know and I don't know. Uh, there's a cost problem, there's a power source problem, there's controlling internet access, because most of our kids are good, but not all of them great. Uh, but this next, and also the equipment updates before next week. How many iPhones do we have in the space of three years? Then, yes. So, this, let's go back. Uh, this boogie board group, or something like it, it doesn't have to be this, it's, it's a tablet that they can write on, they save the notes and the notes disappear, that's one of the cons of it. They don't have access to any internet, they just write it down, it's a note, it's saved and they're like a memory stick. Then uh, it doesn't update, there are two buttons that save and erase, so they can do their work, move on to the next class and then get there. Now you get a whole lot of textbooks and reading books on e-readers as well, so and then there's a whole selection of uh, brands there. And there's some free textbooks available as well. There's the Siobhula textbooks that do maths as well as science, and I know they're doing a life sciences book, and as well as all of your English reading books, but I think I mentioned that already. So if you picture it, you've got kids coming to school, they spend 2,000 Rand at the beginning of their high school career, they use the same equipment the whole way through, there are no other textbook prices, there's no other stationary costs, the teachers understand the technology, there's no problem with power because they both last forever and ever and ever. And then your phones, you need a diary, you need access to internet occasionally, there it is. I think it's awesome, personally. The tablets are great, but the, the cost-effective ones, they just don't have the battery power. So, um, yes. Then, if you would like to look at any of the resources I've found, Siobhula, they are South African based, so all of their stuff is NCS aligned as well as CAPS aligned. Uh, and then Verizon Green is where I'd purchase the boogie board. And then the comparison chart of e readers is at, that's a wiki, wiki link, something like that. Okay, and then there's this one last thing that I found which is similar to that spreadsheet where it's, it's mobile assessment online where they've got templated questions for <laughs> science and maths. <laughs> okay, it's literally, uh, as a maths teacher you need five examples of parabolas and straight lines going through and in each textbook there's only one example. So you're going from textbook to textbook to textbook. This. Uh, web page will randomly generate the same kind of question over and over, but with different calculations. And you'll see that it's got corrected calculations to the left. I just think it's a fantastic concept. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Helen. Right.